Well, this map shows where we found stasis pods so far. Hey, if you drew a line between the pod vocations, ovations, locations, it looks kind of like Megatron. Here's that thing on his nose, here's the... Oh. The point is, now we have an idea of where to search for more pods. The more pods we find, the better our chances of finding fugitives nearby to recapture. In this grid alone, there are probably... Ow! <laughs> and that, funny bot, is what happens when someone sticks his finger in my audio receptor. For a rule book with arms, you fight dirty. <laughs> Do it again, Strongo. Do it again. Guys, please. I I'm just trying to get us better organized. You got lucky. I was about to make my move. My foot is about to move you right back to Cybertron. Enough! <laughs> Um, should I reschedule our map presentation for tomorrow? My team never gave Optimus trouble like this. Really? What was his secret? I'm not sure. I guess I could try asking him. <clears throat> uh, hello? Optimus? Uh, I don't know if this is the way to reach you in whatever realm you're in, but the last time you appeared it was in a reflection, so... This is ridiculous. I just... Optimus, I could use some advice. My, my team doesn't always listen to me, and it makes me wonder if I'm even cut out to be a leader. I'm... I'm worried. If I can't figure out how to lead, it could be a... One... Two! Whoa. Whoa. Disaster. My 1978 Volcano Avenger machine! <laughs> Scrap. You know, when Optimus told us to stop doing something, we stopped. Why? Because Optimus had this great commanding voice. It was... <clears throat> Strong arm. <gasps> Sideswipe. <gasps> Grimlock. Huh? There is no time for this foolishness. We have a galaxy relying on us and a mission to complete. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, sir. But... <laughs> That's the worst Starscream imitation ever. <laughs> Starscream? I picked up a Decepticon signal. It appears to be coming from Crown City. How do you know? This afternoon on this wooded trail, hikers found a strange object which was then brought to the Crown City Museum of Natural History and Sciences. As imaginations run rampant, scientists are working to open the bizarre artifact. Sources tell us the object appears completely alien to them, with another source speculating that there might be something or someone locked inside. Why is everyone so bummed? Humans found a stasis pod for us. Let's walk in there and get it. Our goal is not to be seen by Earth's population, remember? Still, we need that pod before the humans accidentally free what's inside. No problem. I could pose as a dashing archaeologist. I'll ask for a tour. Once I'm in, I'll open the loading dock doors for you. Then you grab the pod. Hmm. Sounds almost reasonable. Let's find a tarp to cover Grimlock for the trip into town. This'll be a blast and a half! What should I wear? I don't know, Rusty. It could be dangerous. You'd have to promise to stay by me the whole time. Don't worry, Dad. You're in charge. I'll do whatever you say. Though I might not wear the hat. I'm Nevada Fleber, famous archaeologist. 
I discovered the Flingy tribe in the lost city of Pantra. I'm surprised you don't recognize me. And I'm here with my intern. International adventurer. I'm McPlank. We just got back from Kartagaska, where Professor Fleeber helped me recover the Samurabi idol. Helped you? I wouldn't say... Anyway, we're thinking of donating the idol to Crown City, which could mean a lot of publicity and ticket sales for your museum. So I thought a tour... Yes, of course, uh, right this way. You promised to follow my lead, Mick Plank. Lead on. Ah, you are really going to appreciate Earth Museums. Ah, I learned some fascinating stuff in places Ugh. like... Uh... Finally. That thing smells like fix its tread grease. Somebody help me with this! Ew. <laughs> ah. Classic! <laughs> yeah! Well, put your arms down! No! Stop yelling! Uh, not uh, in my face! Uh, what? No! Uh, Get away from me! Stop! Uh, uh, stop! Uh, uh, really? Uh. Welcome! You're just in time for the diversion! What are these statues of human beings so happy about? Well, they're cowboys. They were independent, carefree adventure seekers who transported groups of equine and bovine mammals across this continent's western region before it was settled. It, it was an exciting time. I understood exactly none of that. Me either. Let's go find the stasis pod. Stop! Yeah, I think I know what I did wrong before. I was just doing Optimus's voice, not his body language. By dividing our search efforts, we will be more efficient. Each of you shall choose a... <sighs> Stay here. If anything goes wrong, evacuate via the loading docks. Bet B wishes his team was as crackerjack as we. Russell? Pacific Plank couldn't find the treasure, but like McPlank always said, McPlank has his ways. McPlank knew he should get help, but he also knew the stasis pod could burst open at any moment. McPlank had to reseal the pod himself. <laughs> Plank was in big trouble this time. Um, what are you? Surprised. What is this place? Last I remember, my boss Gontrail sent me to smash the stabilizers off a bot who crossed him. Then I woke up in that tiny box. <laughs> No one puts Terra Shock in a tiny box! <laughs> Walls are closing in. Hard to breathe. You gotta get out. Gotta find Contrail! Wait, 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 wait! Ow! Oh. Which way's out? Sure, but if you want to wait here, I'll try and find someone who... Russell? That you? Hey, are you the bot that Contrail sent me to wise up? Probably not. <laughs> of course you're gonna say that. What do you think I am, stupid? Is that a trick question? I am getting out of here, and I'll smash any bot that gets in my way! What do we do? We get in his way. Come on! 
Sideswipe, you make walking a bore. Have you seen a metal buffalo come through here? Big head, small brain. Fix it. Have you been hearing this? Can you give us an ID? Yes, sir. From the description, particularly the small brain part... <laughs> it sounds like Terrashock, a buffaloid considered the most brutal enforcer on Cybertron. That's what was in the pod? Great. Once a buffaloid gets moving, it's nearly impossible to stop. Nice to see you, McPlank. We were gonna stay together, remember? Come on, Dad, I found the Decepticon! I'll find Terrashock, back in a flash! Team, listen to me. This is Bumblebee, your team leader. <laughs> if you find the fugitive, do not engage him. Instead, summon your team, mates, and bring the Decepticon to the museum's entrance grand hall, where we can attack it together. Right. See, I realized I wasn't adding the inspirational team stuff like Optimus would have, so... <laughs> you know what? Let's get to the museum entrance. What are you doing here? Did Contrail send you? He said I was his only enforcer. No need to call the rest of the team for this genius. <laughs> Ain't nobody stealing my job! Yeah. And we'll add a 1305 destruction of private property to your list of crimes. You're under arrest, Decepticon. <laughs> somehow. But in an instant, water can also become a monster. <laughs> Worse! Yeah, strong arm, I did catch the bad guy. All by myself. And no, I don't accept your apology. <laughs> 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 Anyone seen the rest of the team? Maybe the team's just not into your whole... I'm gonna lead like Optimus plan. I, I just... I, I don't know what else I can... <laughs> Finally. It's just me, then. End of the line, Decepticon! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
It's okay, folks. Nothing to see here. The museum's been working on some new animatronics. Watch. Hey, big guy. What's the density of mercury? The density of mercury is, uh, bzz, error, bzz, error. Still working out the bugs, obviously. The museum's almost ready to reopen. See you inside soon. Dad, that was a pretty good idea back there. Well, I had a pretty good teammate helping me make it work. Strongarm, Sideswipe, Grimlock, this is Bumblebee. The Decepticon is loose in the city. I'm heading to the loading docks and going after him. Bumblebee out. Why didn't you order them to meet you there? Isn't that what Optimus would have done? Probably. Bumblebee? Optimus, I tried to call you. I am permitted to make contact only when the Primes believe your need to be dire. I hope you are making progress. Actually, now's not a great time for me to talk, Optimus. A Decepticon is free in a populated area. I see. You and your team will pursue and apprehend it, I assume. My team... I'm not doing a very good job of leading them, Optimus. No matter how much I try to be like you. Perhaps. That is the problem. Bumblebee, you are not me. You can say that again. You misunderstand. I only... Optimus? He just disappeared. I hope he's all right. Did he say anything before he went? That I'm not him. Maybe Optimus didn't mean that you not being him is a bad thing. I mean, you're you. You've been so busy trying to give orders like someone else. What would you do if you just tried to lead like... you? Sorry, Lieutenant. I just had some bad luck. That thing has a really hard head. We're going after Terra Shock. Together. Come on. Sir, do you have a plan? If no one's giving a Buffaloid orders, it feels lost, alone. But if someone steers the Buffaloid... The Buffaloid will go where you tell it to. Maybe even right into a stasis pod. Lieutenant, that's brilliant. Even better than that, Cadet. It's gonna be fun. Let's roll out! Our cover! Forget our cover. We'll deal with that after we capture Terra Shock. Do like I do. Yeah!
Cowboy Grimlock. I like the sound of that. No way B and his team keep their cover after this. Like McPlank always says, McPlank has his ways. Strong arm, you got a speaker? Blue button. If you like that action, folks, come on over to the Stunt Car and Truck Festival in Wichita County. Bring the kids. Where's Wichita County? <laughs> that was a blast and a half, don't you guys think? Blast and a half. What would cowboys do after a successful mission? Just what we're doing, Grimlock. Right off into the sunset together. because of a simple bump. Oh, no. Ooh, many spanks. Glanks. Thanks, sir. I'll finish stacking these stasis pods immediately. Fix it. Didn't I ask you and Sideswipe to work on this together? Well, yes, sir, but Sideswipe's stabilizer is sore, so he thought it might be better if I did it myself. You know, I think Sideswipe might be taking advantage of you. <laughs> oh, hardly, sir. Sideswipe offered to cover my elephant cage cleaning duties for the next five cycles. Fair trade. No, fix it. We don't have any elephants. Oh. Then what have I been cleaning? Sideswipe. <laughs> Sideswipe! Audio overload! You need to stop taking advantage of your teammates and you... What are you listening to, anyway? Oh! Oh, I love this song! <laughs> Again. Uh. <clears throat> yeah. The music on this planet is pretty great. The melodies are complex, and the lyrics frequently have multiple meanings. I like the ns ns parts. Yeah. Well, in any case, look, we need to help our teammates, okay? We don't get the better of them. Customer! Give us what we desire. Or the Cuspigo shall destroy you all! Caspigo? Local legend. Some kind of giant, cranky, elk-like creature walks on two legs and has the strength of a thousand humans, right? I, too, thought the Caspigo was but a myth. Until I saw it! The Caspigo said... I need stuff, and you's going to get it for me. Or else I'm going to break some junk. And by junk, I mean... Use. I shared the story with others. They came to witness the Cuspigo, and now they too are believers. We must all follow the Cuspigo's commands, or... Uh-huh. And will the Cuspigo be paying cash? Oh, no. Arnold will. Uh, that's me. <laughs> then what can we get for you and the Cuspigo, Arnie? We have already found many things, but the Caspigo still demands 15 pounds of soldering lead, 441 two-inch nails, 37 yards of steel cable, and one high-voltage electrical generator. <laughs> okay, just uh, stay here, and we'll see what we can find for you. 14 relay switches. Russell, don't give them the generator. I'll explain later. 
Well, here's most everything. Give me a minute to fire up the crane, and I'll bring a generator over. Dad, we sold the last generator yesterday, remember? What? We have one in the back. And no, we sold it to Mr. Bumblebee. Oh. Sorry. Mm, the only other high-capacity generator in the area is at the dam. and <laughs> That's not for sale. The Caspigo will not be pleased. He may very well kebab us on his antlers. <laughs> Off we go! Boy, is somebody taking those poor saps for a ride, pretending to be the Caspigo. <laughs> uh, so why couldn't I sell him a generator? Oh, because, Denny, I suspect. I'm back, Lieutenant. But the mission was a complete failure. I didn't find anything at the crash site that we hadn't seen previously, except this. Well, this thing won't be bothering us anymore. Whoa, I bet that could totally take down a Decepticon. What is it? It's a Decepticon hunter. Sideswipe, how is your stabilizer feeling? Um, fix it? A little more info? Oh, right, a uh, Sideswipe damaged his stabilizer, so I... On the Decepticon hunter? What? We have a Decepticon hunter? Where? A Decepticon hunter? <laughs> Careful, it can be quite dangerous. Decepticon hunters were standard issue on all prison ships. What's it do? The Decepticon Hunter connects to its user's neurotransmissions, so whatever combat device is imagined, the Decepticon Hunter generates within certain parameters. That doesn't sound dangerous. It sounds awesome! Protoblasters! Yeah. <laughs> I said... Protoblasters! Hey! <laughs> Protoblaster! Whoa! <laughs> I must be doing it wrong. That's because it's tied to your thought process. You actually have to be able to think to make it work. You're lucky I'm able to think about sunshine and rainbows right now. Before anyone thinks something they'll regret. So why couldn't I offload the generator, B? I could have used the space to display my vintage refrigerators. My poor, poor refrigerators. That list from the Cospigo. Those items may have seemed random, but they weren't. I suspect the Cospigo is one of our Decepticons tricking humans into thinking it's your creature of legend, using them to help jury rig a space bridge. A space bridge? So we could go home to gather reinforcements. Home or anywhere else. We could, if we thought this space bridge would work. But it's far more likely that the slightest misalignment of the components will create a black hole-like phenomenon that could badly damage or even destroy Earth. <gasps> Which would be bad. The Alchemor's Prisoner Manifest does list a Decepticon named Thunderhoof matching the general description. We better make sure the generator at the dam stays where it is. Roger that. Autobots! Here comes another stinker. Nope. This time, he nails it. Let's rev rock and rumble! Oh, really? I kind of like that one. Sideswipe, you and Grimlock stay here and guard the generator. Strong arm, let's make a circular sweep of the area.
I'm gonna scout the perimeter. Bumblebee told us to stay here. Yeah, but here includes right here and the perimeter around right here. Oh. Side squad! Stop doing that! Why are you here and not with Grimlock? A uh, funny story. I. Who's there? What are you? See what bus went. Those antler heads took out Grimlock? No, it had to be the Decepticon, who might not have attempted an attack if there had been two guards on duty, like I ordered. <laughs> Grimlock, are you all right? <laughs> Of course I am. Hey, are my arms and legs still attached? Did you see what hit you? All I saw were horns coming at me. You know that feeling when something throws you through a mountain? No. Yes. Well, it was like that. Only painful. Er. Grimlock, head back to the scrapyard and have Fix It take a look at you. Okie dokie. Oh, yeah, you can't fly, pal. Strong arm, help him back. Me? After what, Sideswipe? Grimlock can't make it back on his own, and I obviously can't trust Sideswipe to take responsibility for anyone or anything. Oh, come on! Call if you need help. Since when can't I fly? We're down two team members against an enemy strong enough to knock Grimlock silly. I know I messed up, okay? Look, I can't be wondering how to contain targets and my own team members, Sideswipe. I said I know. Space Bridge. Think you can play it straight long enough to help me keep them from using it, Sideswipe? Ah. We can deal with the Decepticon later, but we can't just roll in and let those humans see us. I have a plan. Just trust me, okay? Oh. No, blue to blue, red to red. If we don't build this altar precisely the way the Caspigo ordered, well, you know what it'll do to us. <sighs> there are other legendary creatures of great legendary-ness that walk the forest, such as me, Sideswingo. And me, Bumbigo. We've never heard of you. Just because you don't know us doesn't mean we're not legends. <laughs> the Caspigo has been a very naughty creature. Criminal, in fact. He has acted against our wishes and shall be punished. So, unless you want a piece of us, you'd better leave here now. Or this will happen. <laughs> Why do legendary creatures hate trees so much? Not bad, huh? One not bad doesn't make everything else good. And we're not out of the woods yet. Ah. Hey, oh! What's going on here? Where'd all my little worker weirdos run off to? You're under arrest. Don't go barking rules and regulations at me, officer. I'm Thunderhoof, see? I ran some of the biggest criminal enterprises on Cybertron. Half you cops were on my payroll. 
That space bridge is dangerously unstable. What's unstable is you if you think I ain't bridging the Cybertron to take back my turf. Tell you what, seeing as you're fellow Cybertronians and all, if you help me, I'll cut you in on a piece of the action. You are going back to Cybertron, Thunderhoof. In a stasis pod. B, maybe we should think about this. It's not like we have a space bridge. Maybe his will work, and we don't want to stay on Earth forever, do we? Sideswipe. We don't make deals with criminals. You're coming with us. Hey, oh, where's the respect? Usually, I let underlings do the dirty work, but that don't mean I don't remember how to do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Swipe! A hand! You mess with the boss, you get the hook! Thunderhoof, wait! Huh? Bumblebee's not worth it. What? I'm sick of that bot telling me what to do, then telling me everything I do is wrong. I want off this bot-forsaken planet. What? Oh, finally, someone with a little intelligence. Come on, kid, let's do the Autobot stomp. Seriously, don't waste your time. He can't stop you. Just leave B here to rot on this mud ball with no way home. Would serve him right. Okay, let's go. Wait, Thunderhoof. We should check the connections in this space bridge before we... Hey, you're a out. smart kid, but don't tell me my business. I got an empire to get home to. But... Kid, and I mean what I says.
So... that happened. You had me worried there for a minute, Sideswipe. Dude, I'm on the team. But I can kind of see how it doesn't always seem like it. The space bridge wasn't stable. But when Thunderhoof disappeared, it sure looked like a teleportation. So where did he go? Cybertron? I'm still stuck on this backwater planet. Fine, I'll just set up a new empire here. Eh, I get those crackpot locals to help. They bought it once, they'll buy it again. Ah, yo! Sorry about the pain. It's temporary, and you'll soon come to understand. Necessary. In the meantime, you want to remain free? You stay with me. I'm Steeljaw. This better not be a trick. I've had enough of tricks lately. <laughs> Side swingo, bumbigo, we look to you for guidance. And for the last time, Morton, watch it with the sacred girdle. Junior, you get the Franks, we'll get the beans. Let's make our eighth camp out in eight nights something really special. Uh, save me. Hashtag family vacation. Ugh. Been in motel tonight. Hashtag awesome. Bumblebee and Grimlock. No sign of the fugitive. Beta team leaving Sector 8 for Sector 9. Zero contact, optical, or auditory. Ugh, what Strong Arm's trying to say is we got zots. What I'm doing is using language appropriate for Cybertronian law enforcers on duty, which B and I are. Something I think you've all forgotten. Who's been putting shrapnel on her intake valve lately? Our Decepticon signal keeps flopping, copping, dropping out. Oh, wait, it's back. And on the move. Alpha Team, direct contact. Party time! Sideswipe, this is not a party. It's a pursuit. Regulation 134, Section 2. An officer shall not initiate a high-speed chase without... You want to follow rules or the bad bot? On Cybertron, we did both. Know a rule for getting that thing down? Shiny! The front gate? Please, let it be someone wanting to sell a pristine eight-track player. Mayday! Officers under attack! Oh! Bumblebee, did you hear that? We'll be there, stat. Danny! Whoa, hey, it's me, Larry LaRue. Hello, Larry. What do you want? Well, I'm out of the collecting biz and hosting a new reality TV show, Scrapmeisters. I searched through people's junk for hidden treasure, and I thought, who has more junk than my pal, Denny Clay? Actually, it's vintage memorabilia for the- You wanna put my dad on TV? You bet you, little man. Your dad's scrapyard is legendary. Maybe I'll even buy something for old time's sake. Because I'm dying. My, my audience is dying to know. 
What is in your collection, Scrapmeister Denny? Well, there's our magical closing gate. Good seeing you, Larry. Wants to crack me! Wings up, bird brain! Time to go back to your cage. Why'd you tell that guy you wouldn't be on his TV show? Don't you want to be a star? Pardon the interruption, but I'm confused. How would appearing on television induce stellar fusion? I mean, how would it make Denny a star? Son, I collect this stuff because I love it. I don't, I don't have a burning desire to be rich and famous like Larry LaRue does. And we have Autobots to hide. We lost the fugitive. Anything on the scanners? Let's see the mugshots. Flyers only. That's our foul. Filch. Compulsive thief. Does it say future punch taker? Cause she's gonna be that too. Seems she's been stealing everything from water tanks to railroad switches and radar domes. And endangering humans. Filch would already be in custody if Sideswipe hadn't broken regulation 134 section two. You've been a total freak about rules these last few cycles. We won't make any real progress here until we all go by the book. I didn't start at that time. You're all witnesses. Those are your old citation logs from Cybertron? Public rustiness and decent transformation. You feeling homesick, Cadet? Just um, studying procedure, sir. Continuing my education. <laughs> uh, when I first came to Earth, I missed Cybertron something awful. Got a case of alloy hives. Felt like I had tin flake under my armor. Cybertron was the only home I'd ever known. I knew how things worked there. I wasn't sure I'd ever feel comfortable here. How... How did you get past that? I decided to think of being on Earth as a game, with new rules to figure out. Took a while, but it got easier, especially once I opened up to it. is on the move. Strong arm, side swipe, let's go. You too, Denny. We may need you to help with civilians. Sweet! I got my go bag of disguises ready. Let's rumble! Ah, uh, not this time, Grim. We'll be close to downtown and you don't- No, no! I've been working on looking like an Earth-based vehicle. Just hang on. One second. 
Oh, you're gonna love this. Oh, almost done. Check it out. I'm a truck. Vroom, vroom. Honk, honk. <laughs> right? Yeah? Oh, come on. is on the scene. Write me up later. Go! Denny, don't let anyone back on the bridge. On it. Right now, just brace the bridge. Look out! Hi, officer. What the heck is going on here? Nevada Fleeber from the Wichahoma County Exotic Bird Park opening next May. Could you set up a temporary roadblock? A roadblock? Why in the name of Sam Hill do we need a roadblock? One of our larger specimens got loose. Our high-tech robot keepers will recapture it and take care of the bridge. One roadblock coming up! <laughs> Hey, Russell, do customers usually come in over the walls if the gate's not open? Only if they're shady. Okay, then I think you have a shady customer. It's that TV guy. Maybe we should let him film here. I don't think your dad would be who? Remove. Approve. What if they see the Algamore? Or Grimlock? Or me? Because if someone's going to see me, I should be detailed first. <laughs> Being on TV could mean more business for the scrapyard. Then maybe Dad would sell some stuff, and we could move out of here and into Crown City. Block off this area and stay out of sight. I'll handle Mr. LaRue. All right. But if he tries anything, Dino Destructo Double Drop. Boom! That's the device that induces stellar fusion? Oh, hey, little man. Is, uh, your dad around? Nah, he had to go out. I'm handling customers and, uh, TV interviews while he's away. I'm Russell. TV? Oh, right. Terrific. Russell, what can you tell us about the Scraptastic Collection here at Rusty Acres? It's enormous, and it's for sale. Great. Cut. You're a natural. That's all we need from you. Just gonna poke around, get some background video for the piece. Hey, you just can't go off without a guide. B! Bridge is clear! Anyone asks, you're a zookeeper! Shiny! What? What? No, 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 no! Run! Grimlock, we need you. Say it again? Slow. Just get over here! <laughs> Wait, 
Can't just roar out of here with that human running around the scrapyard. Wow! A Selecta Soda 68? I've never seen one up close before. What is that? <gasps> oh. How'd I get back to the scrapyard? Listen, uh, I'm a collector too, just like you. You you like shiny stuff, right? And I know where there's lots of shiny stuff. Shiny? Straight out that way. Big old recycling plant. Shiny. Don't worry about me. I'll I'll take good care of your treasure while while you're gone. Shiny. Really? Dead battery? Shouldn't have played so much Sudoku. Gotta be something in here I can grab some juice from. What's that? You mean you've never seen one of those old life-size remote-controlled Neolithy truck toys? <laughs> seen one? I have three. Then you know their activator sensors can get a little wonky. I'll just, uh, shut this one down. Beep, beep, bop, bop, beep, bop. <laughs> There's no way this induces stellar fusion. There's no neutron igniter. <gasps> Fix it! <laughs> B needs me. Go before LaRue gets interested again. Whatever you do, don't waste your time going that way. That's the stuff my dad will never sell. You recorded video of yourself on that camera. Scrap. Did it get my good side? <laughs> you two okay? Other than ignoring every disaster protocol ever written, we're great. Someone call about a bridge? I could do this all day. We don't have all day, team. And neither does Denny. How's it going out there? Let's just say, I need a ride. Dad, I'm so sorry. I let that TV guy in, and now there's footage of Fix It on his camera. Calm down, kiddo. We can deal with that later. Right now, I need to get a message to Bumblebee. Mr. LaRue? I need to... Mr. LaRue? There's Denny, just like Fix It said. Grimlock, how you holding up? Awesomely. I am literally holding up awesomely. <laughs> Slightly less awesomely now. Race you to the top. Right him up, strong arm. He's cheating! Both of you are violating section... Just passing through! Secure Denny! Lieutenant!
Regulation 1, Section 3. A junior officer shall never disobey a direct order from a senior officer. Understand her. Ooh, shiny. Funny. Look out below! You and Sideswipe take Filch and Denny back to the scrapyard. I'll get this to Grimlock. <laughs> so how's your day going? Oh, Denny, the treasures you have. I found things I've been after for years. Sell them to me now, or else I'll air my footage and every collector in the country will be knocking down your door. Okay, Larry, you win on one condition. You never darken my door again. It's a... Two conditions. Good call. We need to know you'll keep your word. Cough up the memory cards, Larry. Mine, 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 mine. I know that stuff meant a lot to you, Dad. I'm sorry. Well, I may be a collector, kiddo, but I know what's really valuable. Besides, did he get all those pieces from aisle three? Uh-huh. The best stuff's on aisle four. I'm going to figure out this star-making thing. Amazing. You broke protocol today, cadet, and I don't see any hives. I realize that you and Grimlock and Fixit, even Sideswipe, you're my ties to Cybertron more than any rule book. You're gonna be okay. But that's not to say I won't be writing you all up. The tricky part was making sure the buffers integrated properly with the additional electrical load. After all, the proximity alarm has to encompass the entire scrapyard or... Russell, are you listening? Yep, box alarm, bluffers and toads. Ah! What's that? It works! <sighs> oh. What's that noise? It's our new pox... Oh. Proximity alarm. Which I know how to operate because I was totally listening. Uh, you were hardly... Anyway, how did the mission go? Wandered through seven clicks of mud to find an empty pod. To be accurate, the pod wasn't completely empty. Sideswipe, tell Fixit how you lent a hand. Oh. That's right, you didn't. Hey, if anyone slowed us down, it was Grimlock. I've seen fried circuits livelier than you were today. No offense. Ow! <gasps> Grimlock! <laughs> What's gotten into this? Grimlock? Keep 
your hands. Off of me, Autobot! Fix it! Get Russell into the command center! What are you doing? Trying to protect you from a violent attacker, if you hadn't noticed. You mean protect me from a teammate? Grimlock assaulted both you and B without cause. <laughs> you assault me all the time! <laughs> <laughs> Stop fighting me! They don't stand a chance, and neither do you! Dude, what is this about? It's about me flattening you. To. Uh, Grimlock's coming his way! I'll handle this. You'll handle a Dinobot? Have you seen you? You're right. I'm gonna be smushed. But I am still the official caretaker of the Alchemore. And when I'm gone, I need you to keep your dad from touching my things. Grimlock, I don't know what's happening, but I order you to stand clown, to stand brown, stand down right now. Don't know if your optics are on the blink, but I just took apart three bots without warming my coolant. <sighs> what are you gonna do, Squeaky? Something's wrong! Yeah! Everyone's in my way! Seriously! You're not gonna let me smash this little thing! Dinobots! So hard to control! Fine. Yeah. Where are the stasis parts? Oh. Are you okay? Oh. <sighs> Absolutely, positively, not. Fix it. I need you to tell me how to work the proximity alarm. Oh, now you want to... Fix it! Maybe we can use it to scare Grimlock or whatever's commanding him away. The controls are on that panel. <sighs> Might uh, take me a moment to get there, however. Uh. It's a very simple procedure. All you have to do is... Push the red button! Now that the Autobots have been dealt with, I can pick up what I came for. And I thought Corvacons were hoarders. First up, underbite.
Zahnnerd noch ist auf! Listen, human. I know you were trying to signal for help. I wasn't. But help's coming anyway. Optimus Prime should be here any second. Huh? Optimus? That was our new proximity alarm. It means Optimus is close by. I can't beat Optimus mano a mano. But the boss will scrap me if I come back empty-handed. Uh, I'm not empty-handed. I have underbite. Well, his systems appear normal. Can you hear me, Sideswipe? Uh, where's Grimlock? Russell scared him away, but Grimlock has underbite. Said he was taking the con to some boss, but... I can't believe I fell for the old innocent T-Rex routine. We should interrogate Grimlock's known associates. He's clearly been fooling us all this time. We are Grimlock's known associates! I, I think maybe... I've seen Grimlock's rap sheet. The only crime on there is severe property damage due to Grimlock being Grimlock. That's what he wants us to think. If you'll just... No way Grimlock attacked us willingly. The boss must have forced him. Hey! I don't think Grimlock's in control of himself. He wanted to hit me, but he couldn't. It was like there was a war going on inside him. Accept it. Grimlock's just a bad bot who's been playing us for suckers. Whatever's going on, our first priority is to find Grimlock in that pod and bring them both back here. This isn't Grim's fault, B. What Russell's saying is at least possible, right? Tell me you know that. <sighs> I can't locate Grimlock's signal. Calm and tracking systems were damaged when he hit the console. Okay. Grim said he was meeting someone, therefore they must have set a rendezvous point. It sounded like the original plan was for Grimlock to grab more than one pod. Are there any secluded areas nearby that are large enough to hide, say, a dozen bots? The Crown River Dam! It's huge! And fully automated. No human personnel. We'll start there. Fix it, you and Russell try to get the comm systems functioning. Autobots, maximum velocity! All right, fine. Just transform, please. Fix it. Can you call up the Alchemor's Prisoner Manifest? Russell B. directly ordered us to repair the comm system, so... This will only take a second. Russell, we need to let B's team know what they're facing immediately, or they may never make it back. At least our fugitives should be easy to track. I'll take points. I'd hate for our teammate to get nailed by a trigger-happy peace officer. I don't know what's gonna happen when we find Grimlock, but I promise you that I'll do everything possible to see that he doesn't get hurt. Thanks for asking.
a cryo-inducer from the stasis pod. Friendly bots don't generally build traps for the good guys. Right, Lieutenant? <laughs> Russell, I need a hyperspan regulator. What does a hyperspan regulator look like? It looks like this. Oh, found one. <laughs> the comm system will either work or will be caught in a fiery explosion. 50-50. <laughs> Well, didn't explode. I didn't expect you so soon. Thunderhoof's still scouting for a larger base, but I'll be glad to help you with the pods. After all, a good leader is only first among equals. I, uh, had a little problem, boss. Only got one pod. Let me guess. You ran away. The Autobots were all over me, but I took care of them. And, and... I snagged Underbite. Between him and me, how much more muscle do you need? That's a rather cowardly way to justify failure, but as far as my intention to make this world a home for all Decepticons, you and Underbite are at least a place to start. Or end, Steeljaw. <laughs> You took care of them, did you? Mostly. <sighs> Savor the daylight. Things are about to get rather dark. Get clear, Lieutenant! I'm trying! Grim, tell me you were just playing along with Steeljaw. You were leading us straight to him all along, right? I could tell you that, but I'd be lying. like you don't want to hurt me. But I got no problem hurting you. Grip on yourself. Like this? What did you do to Grimlock, Steeljaw? Some kind of mind control? Oh, is it so hard to believe that Dinobot would choose me over all of you? Yeah, it kinda is. You whole cadet? Just got my bell rung. Whatever you've done to Grimlock, undo it now! <laughs> I believe you have more pressing concerns. Oh, I doubt they're going to survive this. It isn't over, Steeljaw. Nice catch. Anything for a... Does Grimlock look like he's playing for our team right now? I need Decepticons who don't turn simple tasks into debacles. I can finish this, Steeljaw! Wait for me! Sideswipe, can you keep him busy? Wish I didn't have to, but yeah! Yeah! 
Strong arm with me. Remain silent. Lieutenant, can you hear me? Is it working? Russell, it's not... Go ahead, fix it. Oh, sorry about that. Grimlock is not Grimlock. I mean, Grimlock is Grimlock, but he's not Grimlock. There's a cybertech named Minitron who can control any bot he bites. He must be hiding somewhere on Grimlock's plating. Get off of me! What is it? Go! Oh, that tickles! What is it? Stop! Stop! Enough with the tricks, Minitron. We know your sweet soul is prime! What? what? Is it on me? Where? Oh, okay, get it off! Just get it off, get it off, get it off! <laughs> Where'd he go? This is getting ridiculous. Ridiculous for you, kind of fun for me. Grimlock, I know Minitron hurt you, but he's no longer a threat. We can't squish him. Oh, I can definitely squish him. <laughs> then again, I'm not a bad guy. Grimlock, I'm sorry, I was... Just doing your job. It's your job now too, Grimlock. You're one of us. We'll get Fixit to change that Decepticon symbol. Oh, yeah! <clears throat> I mean, oh, yeah. Thank you, sir. And you too. Can I have my lungs back? In a minute. <sighs> What's wrong? Steeljaw has underbite. Who now has all the time in the world to consume metal and increase his strength. Good thing we're getting stronger all the time, too. Grimlock, seriously? Oxygen! Room getting darker. 